Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single uh, person per mission. It is going so and so. There is another Guerrilla Ops and unfortunately and that's a bit of the disheartening part of, uh, of uh, the run here. Unfortunately having having these sorts of guerrilla ops missions means we're we're probably not going to be successful on them the best thing that we could hope for in most of the cases is to um, to prevent the dark event from happening and that's really it I was uh, thinking about when starting the run to maybe install a mod called Furic Victory, which is which allows you to at least have partial victories. So it's the logic or the philosophy behind the mod is to allow focusing on the the actual mission instead of instead of um, needing to kill all of the enemies and whilst i agree that that's a nice little twist to the game it uh, would have been probably too much of an advantage so i decided to not go for it instead we're using the normal vanilla version and in vanilla um, if you are successful with the um, actual yeah, operating uh, operations target. In this case, hacking the device. You end up uh, with countering the dark event, but you're not gaining any corpses, nor do you gain any other loot or any other experience for that regard. The game is. A sneaky little bastard. They know exactly we're up here, so I was blocking the ladder <laughs> for them to not be able to come up. Of course, they are... My life is in your hands. Instead, moving up the other ladder. But fear not, I have been around the block quite a few times so I know how to cheat the system myself so we slipped in and got ourselves a nice position up here Hacking the workstation. Ooh, what? Enemy protocol? Oh! Hmm. Or we do have a lead on an alien facility, which is even worth more. Uh, that's a, that, really, that's a tough one. But with those low numbers, I would go for enemy protocol so that uh, Nightwalker can hack more effectively in the future. Didn't really matter because we were not successful either way. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the asset files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. But that would have been a nice bonus. Get us out of here already! Yep, get us out of here. Wow, that was a pretty packed map with a lot of enemies. Good. I mean, we did the uh, mission objective and that's about it. I don't think that we could have done more. Might need to level the Reaper a bit or kill it and get a new Reaper 
so that it's pre-leveled. Because we need remote start, additional claymore. Then we can start fighting against uh, the enemies. Rural checkpoints. Well, that's not even. Uh, this here is um, recruitment costs would have been increased. Pfft, big deal. Okay, let's continue getting intel. We're currently saving up intel to hit the black market uh, once it's available again. Current scan will take seven days more to complete. Ooh. Commander, we need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more time to lose. I don't think that we're going for the intel. It's not worth it. it... We can get the same intel here in the Reaper headquarter. Going through the trooper autopsy, we really need um, alien alloys. That is a problem. We're running out of uh, options to research because we're low on alien alloys. Well, this might be a thing for us. An engineer plus a 74 intel. That's a perfect mission for a reaper. Get in and simply get the get the operative out of it. So although being tired, I don't mind uh, them being injured afterwards. We we need the Reaper on this mission. Because we might even be able to pull it off. So, the advantage of this uh, type of mission is, if we play it right, we're able to uh, win it even. It does not require us to kill everyone. So that's a big plus. Plus, the exit point is really near. Just need to make sure that we're not being spotted out seems to be no one down here okay just checking for civilians because with a reaper it is most important to not get spotted out Well, both the Vipers as well as the Spectre are pretty much one-shot kills. We can't fight them. If we were to be detected, the only thing that we could do is run. So, let me get that straight. Uh, 
actually quite close to the evac zone. So opening this here might allow us to evac. First of all, there is no enemy that can current ah there is an enemy that can currently see us. But a single move gets, it out, gets us out of trouble. Sounds about right. We're hacking it again. You know what? Might as well take our chances here. All right, barely can make it out. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. And let's get the VIP out of here. Okay. Good enough for me. Got a new achievement, Worry Warriors. Don't even know what that is. I thought I had all of the achievements. And here we go. Three missions, zero kills, but we got a new engineer and intel. That is helpful. We gotta get more uh, power going. I mean, one of the things we could build is proving grounds for the school jack, which will be helpful. So that's definitely an option. The training center is an option, but we don't need it yet. Resistance communications are not yet needed. Let's build this. And can we upgrade the digital network? Yes, we can. Getting lower on supplies, but this year will allow us a second um, resistance order. And the Proving Grounds could at least give us some more material to work with. Some of the alien weapons. Avenger power is cool. Um, it's really a good uh, skin, but it's not what we need. We currently need Alarium and um, alien alloys. Very nice. Okay, so what would we need to do? Increase income is okay. I like the mobility here. Can we get something where there is an ambush chance? Captured wounded. Okay, no, we can't. The plus one health isn't bad. Additional resistance ordered and uh, orders and covert actions are pretty decent. I like the extra health, so that's good. Promotion here. That's valuable. And essentially, it'll give us some extra uh, income and prevent, prevent the Chosen from uh, getting information about us.
We need to prevent um, them from capturing us. And yeah, the promotion is good. It's pretty solid. We need it. Hmm. Is the promotion better than uh, getting... Is the promotion better than getting the health and the additional orders? I'm wondering. This here lets us stay in the game longer, so I think it's better because it counters the, abili uh, the ability. This here is good as well, but not needed right now. Yeah, it's better. Slightly, but it is better. Good. Well, that's a problem now. A very big problem. We can't continue our research because we don't have corpses or... Yeah, mainly we don't have the Alois and the, uh, and the Illyrium. That's a really, really big problem. We have zero research at the moment. And plated armor plus uh, Illyrium would be such an important combination. Yeah, assign research now. What what do you think? Oh, wait a second. Just gave us what? Just gave us a breakthrough. Uh, okay, well, it's not the best breakthrough that we could have hoped for, but it's at least better than not researching at all. We're in such a deep shithole. We need to hope for good uh, covert ops rewards for next month. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. <laughs> I admire your tenacity. But at this rate... Another brutal crackdown. Well, we're already earning zero. This here could be a problem because he's st usually stealing something. Another um, alien facility happens soon. Well, and at least we got a second uh, option. 10% more experience and higher rewards. Well, there's yet another facility. Let's check our covert actions. Got another reduction here, which must be enough for this uh, month. Scientists are not going to help us. Engineers, maybe. Well, we do have good um, resistance operations. It's just we're totally low on Elerium and Alois, so we need a pop here on the strategic layer. Okay, that's the supply rate, so that might be our chance, to be honest. With this, uh, we should be able to get a few of the crates at least. But we're going to do that in the next mission. This here, if we play it, if we play it aggressively, we might be able to get enough out of it. So what we would need is what was it? Fifteen. 
well, 15 alloy is probably a lot to ask for. 10 alerium is a lot is a lot as well. So both might not happen. I think realistically we're getting between 20 and 30 supplies and 5 alloys plus 5 alerium if we get a single crate or two. Still need to try to do it and maybe gain a few crates. That would be uh, that would be helpful. Who is most who is most suited for this mission? We could go in with the Reaper, sneak to the right crates, mark, 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 and get out of there. That's an option. We could go in with a specialist trying to withstand the enemy fire as long as possible, but I don't think that that's a good idea. Probably need to be a fast hit and run maneuver, so it might be Nightwalker again. And by the way, we would have really, really, really good weapon upgrades, um, even plasma level weapon upgrades here. Just requires fucking alien alloys. So if we could get those, uh, it would be really good. Um, just look at this here, for instance. Um, chart gun, okay? Ranger upgrade. Our shotgun. Current shotgun, 4 to 6, right? The magnetic one, 5 to 7. The plasma one, 8 to 10. Plus the chance to critically uh, strike. So we would be able to one-shot normal uh, normal <clears throat> enemies again. Same here um, with the rifle for the Reaper. So that these two upgrades would be super helpful. That's even only five alien alloys. Not that the mech outer pistol is so good, but it's a matter of principle. And we would have the supplies. We have enough, but we don't have the alien alloys. Ah. It's a struggle, guys. It's a struggle. And I I know normally I could get the alien alloys, just do the normal missions, right? But since we're since we're doomed to do special missions that never yield these supplies. The only chance of getting them from a mission is exactly the supply run now, so we can't mess that one up. Ooh, I'm excited um, and pretty tortured at the same time. This run here is the management of the macro space of this run here is something else. Okay, let me figure out how we're going to do it. And we're going to see each other in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, it had been a blast as always. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.